let you get away with that one. The weather, okay. though, not yes. too bad. We're getting away with yeah. uh, some nice yeah, weather really, for this yeah. uh, holiday we, week. We're we enjoying it. Are. Sure. You know, I know you guys are definitely of the mild yeah. team. Yes. I am of Team White Christmas. Oh. You guys are going to win out this year is what it really <laughs> looks like. Let's take a look outside on our neighborhood network up there in the Poconos where it looks like a winter wonderland right now, but a lot of this snow is man-made at this point. Underneath the ski lift, you can see a lot of bare ground, and that's because all those kinds of areas, it's where we would need the natural snow to cover up the ground, whereas on the trails themselves, that's where we have all that snow-making equipment. So again, right now, plenty of snow, plenty of base for uh, those skiers and snowboarders up in the Poconos. While today looks really nice, it actually could get a little bit warm over the next couple of days, even up there in the Poconos, so that could maybe limit your chances to hit the slopes in the next couple of days, but this coming weekend actually doesn't look maybe too bad to uh, jump up up there into the Poconos. Storm ski in three for us right now. Some high cloud cover trying to work its way through areas of South Jersey back towards Delaware. Even some high clouds kind of filtering that early afternoon sunshine here across Philadelphia. And this is all associated with a much larger area of low pressure that continues to just spiral down across the southeast. Now there's a little bit of areas of surface high pressure just around the D.C. Baltimore area, and that's holding most of that precipitation down to the south. So we're going to see continue to see the shower thunderstorm activity across the Carolinas. But again, with that surface high just to our south and just to the, to the north of that system, all this precipitation again likely just eventually slides straight to the east and it clears off the Carolina coastline and it doesn't really look like any big travel concerns for the southeast as that system slowly moves away. Now for today here in the city, we go with mostly sunny skies, very mild, high of 51, our average high this time of year, right around 44, 43 degrees. So we're well above that average range and we're going to continue to see this theme all the way through our holiday week. So we're calling it a warmer holiday week. A quiet weather pattern that's nice and mild is really setting up a lot of the mid Atlantic sits under that dome of high pressure and that allows some southerly, some southwesterly winds to kind of reign supreme. So we get up into the 50s today and our temperatures are actually going to be hovering near that 50 range pretty much all week long. Let's take a look to Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, of course, tomorrow and Wednesday. If you're traveling tomorrow, Wednesday, really looking pretty good. 45 degrees are high there on Christmas Eve in the afternoon. Christmas Day will wake up to temperatures probably in the lower 30s, so it's going to be a chilly morning on Christmas Day morning. But in the afternoon, you take a look at that sunshine and up to 47. So if you have uh, maybe getting that new bike or if you're doing any kind of outdoor plans on Christmas Day, you shouldn't have any problems there. 45 tomorrow after the 50 one here today, 47 then again on Christmas itself. Taking a look into the end of the week here, Thursday, that high pressure is still in control and we're still